Welcome to 840 Woodland Drive, located in the prestigious community of Montecito, near Santa Barbara, California. This four bedroom, three bathroom, single level California ranch style home has been expanded, remodeled, and meticulously maintained over the years. Tucked away on a quiet cul-de-sac and set above the street, this nearly one half acre of land offers a wonderful sense of privacy and serenity, and it comes complete with a pool and spa to enjoy the California sun. When you want to leave your retreat, you can enjoy numerous nearby beaches, wonderful hiking trails, and great shopping and dining in downtown Santa Barbara, the Funk Zone, and Montecito's lower and upper villages. So, if I have you intrigued, come with me and I'll show you around. One of the things that I love about this location is in addition to the privacy of the cul-de-sac, you also have a little bit of increased elevation here on the home level that gives you an extra sense of privacy from the street, making your front yard area even more usable. You got a beautiful bird bath, you got a little patch of synthetic grass giving you a nice splash of green, and then you've got this beautiful brick path that is framed by this magnificent mature coral tree with its bright red blooms. Now I love the front door because the blue color just gives it that wonderful splash of color and it's so charming and quaint as you walk into your house. You've got beautiful oak wood floors throughout the property and this front part of the house is just magnificent. It's actually been expanded where the owners took the front door and this front part of the living room and actually pushed it forward giving this wonderful alcove space here in the living room and you've just got a wall of windows. I love the mullions, they add so much charm and, and kind of the grid pattern there in the windows. And then as you can see, this room just has a wonderful sense of space with the vaulted ceilings and the beam ceilings. These were all uh, customizations the current owners did. And then this fireplace is magnificent. It has a great sense of space and scale. And so you've got the marble kind of accents there with the wood paneling. Here in the dining room, you get wonderful natural light and just kind of beautiful scenic views overlooking the blooming flowers in your front yard. Through here, you're gonna find kind of the second part of the house for as far as the communal space goes, where you have more of that great room feel where your kitchen flows directly into your casual dining area and your family room. And I'm gonna show you that more as we walk back through the space in just a little bit. One of the additional customizations that they did is they actually took this, what used to be a breezeway to the garage, and they customized the space to add an extra bedroom suite and this wonderful office alcove here. So if you peek in there to your left, that's actually a new bedroom that these current owners added. It's got a nice size walk-in closet and a pair of French doors that'll lead you out to its own little kind of brick front patio, a perfect place for a guest to enjoy a morning cup of coffee. You got your attached two car garage with lots of additional storage and the walls have been finished with drywall and painted. So that space also could be an additional conversion to an ADU in the future or a family room if you wanted. And then you have a pull down ladder in that space also that takes you up to extra attic storage above the garage. So you can see the space gets nice natural light here in the afternoon, great kind of working area. And then this is a bathroom that was added as part of that customization. And you've got a corner vanity and then a tiled shower. As you come back through into this main space, there on your right in that closet, you actually have a stackable washer and dryer, really nice and convenient. You've got your oven and built-in microwave there to your right. And then here on your left, you've got the main kitchen space. You've got this long center island with your cooktop, fridge, dishwasher, trash compactor. And I love that bay window. There are a number of bay windows throughout the home and they make the home feel even larger than it actually is and brings in that great natural light. I love the functionality of the light fixture there above the island too. It's a light fixture, but also is great for a pot rack holder as well. You've got your casual dining here that flows wonderfully out to the backyard with that set of French doors. And then here in this kind of bonus kind of den or family room space, you've got the additional bay window that gives it a great sense of space and again, more lighting. You've got oak built-ins here on your right. And just wonderful storage space throughout the home. You've got a built-in bookshelf there on your left. And then we're back there in the main entryway. Got recessed lighting throughout the home. And real 
literally every part of the house looks out to something scenic on the outside. It's a very pleasant view. Here's your hallway to your three be additional bedrooms. It can be closed off by a pocket door. And then here on the right is your primary bedroom suite. I love the grand entry with this double door. It can be closed off for privacy, but also during the day you can leave it open and get a nice flow in the house. You got a bay window here in the primary bedroom suite, and this is your attached bathroom. Yet again, one more bay window there in the tub, and that overlooks an actual privatized part of the outdoor landscaping, so you get the view and the light of the outside without worrying about privacy. You got plenty of space here if you want to do any cosmetic upgrades in the future. And then here is your walk-in closet, which has a nice organization system already installed. You got plenty of room here in the primary bedroom suite. Nice, uh, nice size room for a big, big bedroom, additional storage options. And then as you come back in the hallway, you can go ahead and cross and poke into the second bedroom in this wing of the house. It's been used as a media room in the past, has a nice closet space there, and also some built-in speakers, and then a window that overlooks the backyard. At the end of the hall here, you've got a full bathroom that services these two auxiliary bedrooms. You've got a double vanity, and then I love what they did here with the tub and the shower. The curtains are just so charming and one additional bay window overlooking that privatized area of the backyard. Here is your fourth and final bedroom in the main house. This bedroom gets lots of natural light with a big corner set of windows and French doors and flows out to your backyard, one of my favorite features of the house, including the spa and pool. So here we are at the French doors that lead off of the kitchen and that casual kind of morning breakfast area. And I love that this outdoor space is so usable here in the backyard, but it's also really private. You've got the tall plantings along the back property line, so no one's looking down on you, which is wonderful. And then you have all of this low maintenance and beautiful brick patio space, which is perfect for al fresco dining. You can install your chase lounge chairs there or over here by the pool. And then you've got a dwarf lemon tree and a passion fruit vine. I have one of those at my house and they are prolific and so tasty. You've got your pool equipment enclosure, so it's kind of out of sight. And then here you have what really looks and feels to me like an estate pool and spa. You've got your corner built in spa. And then I love this kind of wide three steps down so you can easily walk into the pool. And even on the opposite side of the pool there, you have a built in bench seat. Easily fits two, three, four people there in the, in the water on those warm days where you wanna be half out of the water and half in the water. That's a great option. And then here behind me, while this is drought tolerant now, at one point, this was actually a large flat yard adjacent to the pool. So if you prefer that, it's easy to customize this space to have an actual yard, whether it's synthetic or real grass. So thank you for joining me of this virtual tour of 840 Woodland Drive. We're so glad that you did. Please reach out to your agent or your preferred Zeeger Builder partner to schedule a private showing.